What's up guys, it's Dallas from SoftModder, and today we're going to check out Viper for Android. Viper is an audio soft mod that installs its own sound drivers and operates as a DSP manager. For it to have system level access to all these things, you'll need to be rooted. But I've got everything covered in that regard over at the link in the description below this video. There you can find all the downloads and even a full tutorial on how to get this going from scratch. I'm demonstrating installation on the Nexus 5 here, but Viper is available for all Android devices and setup should be similar. First up is a zip you can flash in custom recovery. There's also APKs available for normal installation, but using this method you can install everything in one fell swoop. Plus it puts the app in system slash priv app, so it won't be cleared from memory when you're playing music. I'm using TWRP recovery here, so with this one you just tap install, and then navigate to the zip in question. Tap it, then swipe the slider across the bottom to get it installed. Once that's finished, just hit reboot system. Over here on this other Nexus, I've already got all that done. So you just open up the Viper app, and you'll be greeted by a driver installation pop-up. Basically, for Viper to work, you need this custom audio driver installed. There's a couple of noteworthy things on this part. One is that you have to have BusyBox installed for it to work. Not just the app, but the actual BusyBox commands that the app installs for you. Second, it seems that the root management app you're using makes a difference. Super User by Clockwork Mod does not work very well with this, if at all. So be sure you're using Chainfire's Super SU, which is more compatible with higher version of Androids like KitKat anyway. So like the pop-up says, you need to install the driver. Just hit yes from here, then pick the particular driver you want. I'm going with super audio quality, because high audio quality and power saving just sound boring when compared to that. Seems like a no-brainer to me. Next, it'll say some stuff to the extent of, you need a good phone to use this mode, which the Nexus 5 definitely is. Any phone released in the last year or so should be compatible with this driver. Now it needs super user privileges to install the driver, so grant it those. When that's done, it lets you know that the installation was successful and that you have to reboot for the changes to take effect. So I'll do that manually, then back over here on the other phone, I've already taken care of all of that off screen, multitasking for the win. But yeah, just open up your phone's settings and go to sound. Then hit music effects and choose Viper from the pop up. Now I'll just head into the music player to get a song going so you can hear the changes. If you open up Viper at this point, you can play with all the sound effects. Hopefully you can hear the difference this makes in the video, but taking these boxes makes some significant changes to the sound. You can do this for various audio output modes, so it works with headphones and Bluetooth and whatnot. But yeah, for the full breakdown, be sure to check out that link in the description. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, guys. But until then, happy soft modern.